So people ask me, what's the most courageous thing you've ever done? Well, it's twofold. One was starting Collective Hub and two was having the courage to break it. I was so frustrated having been an entrepreneur for the previous 11 years that there wasn't anything in the media that really told the story behind the story. How did you start? How did you get funded? What was the supply chain? So I thought, if there's nothing out there that serves me, well, I'll damn well start it myself. Within the first 18 months, I got an email from the office of Anna Wintour. She is the doyen of publishing globally, and she invited me to go and meet with her in New York. So that was pretty exciting that this little punk who knew nothing about publishing had gotten onto the world stage with Anna Wintour. Collective Hub was front and centre at every single news link Australia wide. We had light walls floor to ceiling at every single airport and we were in every single lounge, uh, Singapore Airlines, Virgin, Qantas globally. So when I started Collective Hub, it was exciting. I had three staff, we're nimble, we're flexible, we're moving really quickly, we're growing, we're breaking rules, it's juicy and we're creative. Suddenly it's about operations, systems, processes, finance, IT, HR, legal. Suddenly every single day was, we need another $100,000, we need another $100,000. And it's very, very difficult when you're growing at that warp speed to be able to keep moving forward and to be able to keep creating and be strategizing and be a leader and a visionary when you're sinking and drowning every day in the systems and the processes and the survival mode. So what I would say is, is bigger isn't always better. And it's been a fascinating and at times frustrating journey being at the helm of a brand that is loved by so many, but financially supported by so few. The truth is, after running my business for 16 and a half years at a frenetic pace, it's time to take some time and space to actually rethink. It's important for me not to just jump into the next thing, but actually take time to educate myself, invest in myself, be still for a while. And also just to focus on connecting with our community, continuing to write books and speak. As an entrepreneur, you have got to be able to be resilient. You've got to be able to flip your mindset and you've got to be able to move forward and peel yourself off the floor even when you don't want to. The trick to that is know your why, know your purpose, make it bigger than you, and then you'll be able to keep going. <laughs>